What's up guys, it's Dan. Um, so, in some responses to the last couple videos I've had and with the, the increased audience in PlayStation 4 now that's come into the game, um, I've recently been helping one of my friends level an account and uh, thought I should go back and kind of talk through like your first 20 levels and, and what you want to do and then I'll, I'll go back and I'll address 20 to 40 later. But So, uh, first of all, let me kind of talk through some of the common misconceptions and mistakes that are made. So. The game is absolutely free to play, but it's also pay to advance or pay to be comfortable when it comes to some things. So you're not going to be able to be free to play and hop around from place to place to place, which is what you're going to want to do in the beginning. So the first mistake that I see a lot of people make is you start off in Lone Star, then they go to Mudwater River, then they want to go to Emerald Lake, then they're going to Naren, or however the hell you pronounce that, and you're already... You're out of money. You're broke. And you're like, oh, this game sucks. So here, here's some basic tips on where you're going to progress and what I feel is the best way to progress. So you're going to start in Lone Star. Everybody has to. you got to get through your tutorial and do some other stuff. Then what I'd recommend is kind of stay here until you can get to level 5. It shouldn't take too long. Um, don't spend any money on anything. Really just bait and upgrades and bait and continue to catch maybe you'll get a spotted bass here or there the crappie are pretty good but you really want to stay here until level five at level five you're going to go to emerald lake and you're going to buy the best spinning rod you can buy the heaviest pound test you can buy which will probably be four pound maybe six um, if you want to throw some bait coins at it but um, you're going to be fishing for walleye and you're going to stay fishing for walleye for a long time um, you probably won't get a lot of trophy walleye there. There aren't very many in my opinion. It takes a long time to get them. But you're going to throw the narrow spoons at the walleye. You're going to go to this lake and you're going to fish on the far left side right behind the lilies and you're just going to fish for walleye. And you're going to farm walleye and you're not going to go here. Um, you're not going to go here. You're not going to go to either of these two places because the walleye as far as money and dollar per dollar um, and money and XP, um, pound for pound is probably the best fish you can have, truthfully, until you get pike, I think. Um, but anyway, as we look through this, you're going to stay in Emerald Lake, and it's probably going to be boring, but ride it out, do the best you can, fish for some pickerels if you want, or perch, and screw around with some of that stuff, but um, don't waste the money to go here or go here, and then you're buying additional licenses. It's kind of a money pit. The next place I would recommend going before you go to the Everglades is going to be Falcon Lake. And what you want to target are the trout, primarily the brownies, um, is where you're going to get the best, probably the best bang for your buck as far as money goes. But brown and rainbow trout will give you decent XP up and through up through 18 when you can go to the Everglades. Um, now at this point. Let me address a couple things. So at any time, if you have a fish basket upgrade, do it. Not the stringer, but I mean, you could use a stringer if you had to. But really, you want to look at fish basket. Always get the best fish basket you can possibly afford at any time you want to go and get those. That's absolutely worth it. Um, you don't really need to upgrade your rods or reels too much. You probably need to upgrade your line. Um, up until eight pound when you're going to go after the brown trout. Um, six to eight pound is probably where you want to be and you want to have a rod that's decent. Um, the jig winners are good when you can get those. Um, but you don't really want to go to Everglades until you've gotten enough money to get a bait casting reel and you're going to be targeting butterfly peacocks. Probably with top water is pretty good for those or um, the crawfish crankbait. Um, is pretty good. Uh, same thing for the largemouth bass jigs. Um, those are great species to target to continue to work on your leveling. Um, you can, I mean, you can catch some of these other things, but they're small and really insignificant when it comes to the XP piece. But the largemouth and the um, butterfly peacocks are the best ones to do really around that level. When you begin to get into your heavier tackle, which will probably be in the 20s, the red drum are great to level and get money. And they can fill up your basket pretty quickly, so that's one caveat. Um, but it, really avoid the snook. A lot of people think snook are really good. They're heavy, you don't get any XP, and you don't get any money either really from them. Um, I don't think so, at least. So 
that's where you're going to do until you get to 20. So it's pretty basic. When you go to the inventory, um, or you go to the shop rather, and you're looking at tools or equipment, the must buys that you need to get are always going to be your keep nets. So you can see there's a lot of upgrades as you go through. You can get them at level two. You could tough it out until level four if you wanted to save a little bit of money. Um, but at 15, you're going to get a new one. At 18, you're going to get a new one. At 20, you're going to get a new one. So um, always upgrade this. Now, if you're in an area where your max single fish weight isn't going to be bigger than seven and a half pounds, don't worry about it. So you think seven and a half pounds, sometimes that's the brown trout can get that big. Some of the uni rainbows would be that big. Even the trophy rainbows can probably be close to that that size. But um, so anyway, that's some of the things you can do, and that's free to play. But those are my recommendations for when you first start the game. Now, if you decide, damn, I just want to level as quickly as possible to catch up with my friends. I want to get to Alaska. Whatever you want to do. So here's some suggestions. If you're gonna do that. Um, I'm going to switch capture devices real quick and bring you guys into Steam so I can show you the DLCs to buy. So, give me one second. And I'm going to show why this is important. So, Fishing Planet Anniversary is what you have to type, which gives you, this gives you the biggest fish basket in the game. Um, and it gives you uh, a rod that's really solid to use for the bigger fish that you're going to catch with lures later in the game. Striped bass, um, musky, bigger pike, um, uh, tarpon, um, would even, you can catch them. All the salmon you can get on this. So this really catches the biggest fish in the game. You're really getting it um, primarily for the equipment, which is this right here. So the max weight is 440 pounds or 200 kilos for all you Euro bros. So it's pretty awesome. It's really, really good. So you're getting two rods, two reels, um, jigs. I mean, these are really, it's got some good crankbaits in here that you can use, like that crawfish crankbait I was talking about is in here, which is really good, and some nymphs and stuff. So it's primarily for salmon. But there's a couple crankbaits in here that are great for bass. So this is an anniversary pack that I would recommend. The only way you can do it is by searching the shop. Um, the other way um, to buy the DLCs shows you the other one I'd recommend. And this is one I'd recommend earlier on just to make your life a little bit easier. So um, the virtual bass open pack is one that's decently priced uh, right here and gives you access to some of the bait casters that can be very beneficial once you get to uh, fish for bass, which would be, you really wanna hold off until the Everglades. Um, you also get some premium, you get some bait coins and stuff, and you know you get some accessories, but primarily you're gonna take this if you wanna get the bass um, when you get to the Everglades. So that's my other recommendation. Now that rod can also work for some of the, the trout too. It's not just for bass, but um, that that those are my options if you wanna make it little bit easier to get yourself to level 20 um, rather quickly so those are my recommendations hopefully you guys um, hopefully this is beneficial let me know in the comments if there's another some other tips or tricks you want to see when it comes to fishing planet um, that's it thanks for watching thanks for all your support lately see you later